Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. I'm Jay and today we got a soldering related video. To be more precise, we're um, going to take a look how to make an exhaust, a fume exhaust fan for soldering. Now for years I just used an, uh, a fan just like this. It's just a computer fan and I had a plug um, wired to it and I could plug it into a wall wart and I just set it off on the side from where I'm soldering. I kept, you know, you go put the soldering thing, go to reach for something, knock it over. The other day I knocked it over right onto a pile of uh, resistors and stuff and zing! They went flying everywhere. I was like, you know what, it's time to make a stand for it. I could have just took a little piece of wood and glued it to it, but still, you know, there's a chance of knocking it over and hitting stuff. So I went out in the shop, and I got a whole bunch of plumbing stuff. Um, it was actually left here when I bought the place, just tons of plumbing stuff. That's why I really like building stuff out of PVC. Um, I had a good start with materials. But uh, I had, this is a 3-inch to 1.5-inch T. I also had another one It was a 3-inch to 2-inch, uh, so it went from the 3-inch pipe to 2-inch. I had some bigger ones as well, but the 3-inch fit the fan perfectly. And I was looking, and I had these little plastic things. I've got a couple of them, and I just put a piece of um, inch-and-a-half pipe fits right around it, and then it fits in there. It makes the perfect stand for it. Now, I had the PVC stand, a piece that made, worked as a stand. You might not. What you can do is just take, and whether it's the three inch to one and a half or three inch to two, you just take and hot glue gun a little square of wood that's you know roughly about the size of that, maybe a little bigger. And it's also before I forget, you can see how this is kind of offset a little. I put it so the most weight was um, back here, so it kind of centered the um, centered it so it ain't as tippy. But uh, just hot glue gun a piece of wood on there for a base. I hot glue gun the computer fan on there, drilled a hole at the top on an off switch, drilled a hole here, um, drilled it to the exact size of my power plug and I had to push it really hard to get it in there. It's not glue, it's pressure fit. And, and then I just ran the wires, you can see them. There's no sense trying to tape them off to the side or anything. It ain't gonna affect it at all, not at all. And uh, voila, I had a fume fan. And the nice thing about it, you can put it to the side and have it blowing the soldering fumes away from you or you can put it right in front of it with the fan part near you and it'll suck the fumes away from you. So either way you want to do it. There are no filters on here. Um, I mainly am going to use this in the shop or um, my electronics workbench in the studio here, which um, it's an old schoolhouse. There's enough ventilation in here. I ain't worried about the fumes that much. I just don't want to breathe them directly in. And the whole thing is powered. I got a little 12 volt wall wart. An upgrade you might want to consider to this, you could add a potentiometer to it so you could adjust the speed. I have always just used the fan on full blast and if I wanted a little less I put it further away. I've used this a couple times now and it's great. Instead of having to unplug it, move on, you just turn it off. I bump into it, you know, it's not going to just fall right over. It's not going to send a pile of resistors and transistors flying all over the place. Um, that's not a good thing, but um, that's all there is to it. So we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, I can't think of anything else. I'm not going to bother putting a website page together for this. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory how to build this. If you have to go and buy this adapter, I mean, it's probably going to be about 4 or $5. But it's still, it's nice and convenient. You could paint the thing up when you're done, too. Make it look nice. And then just glue a piece of um, plywood 
to the bottom and you're good to go. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. Hope you found this information useful. You did. Give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it big time. So with that, uh, well, just hope you have a great day and hope to see you here again.